Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you guys had a lovely time over the Christmas period. I feel like we're in that Christmas limbo stage right now whereby no one knows what day it is. We are leading up to New Year's Eve. Let me know your plans. I don't even know what we're gonna do this year. Maybe go to Tom's mum, spend it there. Maybe go for a nice New Year's Day walk, lunch. Whatever we're gonna do, I'm sure you guys will see over on my Instagram. Um, but in the meantime, I will actually have a vlog going live on the first. I'm gonna do over these next few days, film like a bit of a reset day, get organized, take down the decorations and everything like that. So hopefully it will spur you guys on and give you the motivation you need to get things going in the new year. So stay tuned for that on Sunday. As for today, I thought I would just sit down. I'm back at home now, as you can tell. We have the builders in currently, they are cracking on with the renovations. I will update you guys on Sunday's video within that vlog as well on where we are at with that and what kind of progress they have made over the Christmas break because they have been working throughout. Um, but yeah, today I thought just share with you some of the things that I have been very kindly given from friends and family. I do have a couple of Christmas EPR bits as well actually that I came back to so I'll save them um, and show you those at the end of the video. But in the meantime, make sure you've got yourselves a nice cozy hot chocolate, get comfy, relax. I'm sure there's still some chocolates lying about after Christmas. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. So the main gifts that I got from Tom this year, very exciting. We have a trip booked in February and we are going to Finland. We're gonna do the whole husky sledging, snowmobiling, Northern Lights searching, all of that kind of fun stuff. So let me know if you want me to vlog that. That will be coming up in February. So I've been like spying a few new bits, which I'm sure I'll show you throughout um, these next upcoming vlogs into the new year of things that I maybe have been buying for that trip. Anyway, that was the main gift from Tom. So thank you, Tom. That is like a dream trip of mine. Main gift I got from my parents. Very surprised. I mean, I did mention this to my mum. I don't think I've ever owned anything from Burberry before. I don't think I have. Um, but I've seen that their new season scarves are like a big print, a big Burberry print. So when you've got it on, it's almost quite subtle. They've got loads of different colors. It is a scarf. And the colors that I got, um, the color combo, I think it's just brown black it's called. So yeah, this is the logo branding and everything. That kind of is how it looks. See how it's quite subtle. But actually, if I show you, the one side that is black with brown writing, as you can tell, maybe, says Burberry. And then on the reverse, it is uh, brown with black writing. So just kind of, I mean, not one with this jumper, because this one's obviously great. This is from Mango, by the way. I'll try and leave a link to it below. But yeah, it's kind of subtle. You can't really tell the branding. I quite liked that. So yes, I had mentioned that to my mum and she very kindly surprised me with that, her and my dad, obviously. And then I'll show you some of the other gifts that they got me. They got me a dressing gown. Again, this was on my Christmas wish list. I asked for some kind of cozy dressing gown that is more of like a beige kind of color so that if I do tan or anything, it doesn't get any makeup on it. Um, because I do find that with white dressing gowns, I don't know, I just end up ruining them. I do like them. I do have like a waffle one, a lighter one for summer. But for winter and the cozy seasons, this one's huge. It's from the Rosie Huntington Whiteley range at M&S. So again, if I can find this, I will leave it linked below. Sticking on the cozy vibe, I also got some white company slippers. These are the navy ones, which they did last year, I believe. I don't know if they're doing the navy this year. So I'm assuming mum got these in the sale and she's kept them to one side for us for this year. Um, my brother's fiance got a pair as well. I think my mum even bought herself a pair. I had the grey ones last year and wore them to death. So very grateful to get a new pair of those. Speaking of slippers, although these I haven't really been wearing as slippers, but from UGG, I got the, what they called this? Tasman. Um, and I got the kind of khaki colour. I'm not going to show you too much because I have worn them a lot. I've kind of been wearing these more as like a outdoor errands type slipper shoe. Like I even went to the shop in them last night. Um, although I did feel a bit silly because they do still feel a bit slipper like. But they're just good to like shove on, keep warm whilst you're out taking the dog out, taking the bins out, 
pop into the shop um, so yeah I love them and I love that colour as well now I've got some short hunter wellies recently so I got from my mum and dad a pair of the hunter boot socks I got them in black in a large and this is just oh I'm sure if you've seen hunter wellies you've seen these before but they're just an inner sock boot sock that you, like I would already have socks on, like thin socks on, and then these just kind of sit in your wellies and then this bit folds over the top so you can still see the branding. Again, sticking with Cozy, I've ripped the label off now, but from Tom's mum, she very kindly got me this Cozy wearable blanket from Silent Night. It is the softest, coziest thing ever. I think I'm gonna throw this straight in the cinema room because Tom's got a big blanket hoodie down there a grey one so I feel like on my bean bag I'm gonna throw that one on there so that we can get cozy and watch movies also from her I got some gloves and a scarf and I actually really wanted some new gloves so these are perfect weatherproof gloves perfect for dog walking oh it's perfect it's touch screen compatible too and then she must know me well because I love doing like puzzles and stuff like that she actually got me a stitch and story make your own cozy headband knitting set now I have done knitting before, but when I was in school, I remember we once did like a knitting class and I really enjoyed it. Like I said, it's, for me, I find busy, what's it, what's the saying? Busy hands, tidy mind. Like if I'm doing something, it actually clears my mind and it helps me either relax or take my mind off like all the other noise that's going on, the stresses of whatever's happening in your life. That's why I think I love doing puzzles and Sudokus, word searches, that kind of thing. Um, and jigsaws as well. I got spoiled with home fragrance sets. I got this Neon the Winter Wellbeing Wonders Candle Trio and in here it smells amazing. In here there are three different scents, Christmassy scents. You've got Christmas Wish, Perfect Peace and Cozy Nights and they're good sizes to just kind of like test out to try all the different scents to be able to maybe decide which one's your favourite and buy a bigger size. Um, I also got this from my brother and his fiance, I always want to say girlfriend, but they're engaged now, um, in green cardamom. This scent is incredible. It's from Rituals, a gorgeous home fragrance brand. If you're yet to try Rituals home fragrance, they do do like beauty stuff as well. But I really think their candles and rediffusers are so nice. And how nice do they look as well? This is the actual candle so so gorgeous they've got like these like gold kind of stamps and this one yeah green cardamom is very it's quite fresh actually i feel like this would be a nice either bathroom or probably kitchen scent i would put that in the kitchen i love that so i also got this still in its packaging just stop it leaking but from i'll keep it in there for now but it's just one of the neptune uh laundry fabric conditioners i have had one of these in the past and it's the one that I ran out of quickest so I just use cheaper stuff to refill it but now I've got a brand new actual rosemary and thyme scented from Neptune. I also got from my mum and dad and funnily enough I actually got my mum this candle in a different scent. I got her this in vine tomato. It's from Urban Apothecary and she got me a matching set with a candle and reed diffuser in smoked leather. I'm going to keep that one wrapped up for now but I can smell it because this candle box is open and it smells so nice. It's really really smoky and oody i think my mum actually got herself one as well it's a fun little gift because tom's surname is lord she got this plaque that says lord and lady she says when you do your outside you can have like the plaque mounted somewhere so yeah thanks mum for that and um, i also got some bits from the white company i got a fir tree oops nearly dropped it reed diffuser i also got one of the medium botanical candles again in fir tree I love the colour as well. So like if ever you're putting it out and yet to use it and just leaving the branding on, I think that green ribbon is lovely. And then a couple of minis. Well, I say minis. This one's the standard size candle. Um, cinnamon, clove and orange. This one is in the winter scent. And also in the winter scent, these little, they do these little kind of hanging votive candles. So yeah, love them. A friend of mine very kindly got me a bracelet from Abbott Lyon. Le Leon? Lyon? Um, and I love this. I'll get it out and show you. I believe she might have got us matching. I just think it is beautiful. So it's just got a very simple little F in gold. And I think they do like charm bracelets as well where you can 
buy more of those. This was kind of for Barney, but also for the home. So I guess for me, so I thought I would share it with you. But from Barber Dogs, they do these fleecy kind of um, dog blankets. Now I actually have one for Barney um, from Barber, but it's the smaller size. So you can only just about lie on it. My brother's dog, they, my parents got them the smaller version. And when they opened it, I was like, that's the size that Barney's got. Didn't realize they do a bigger size. So now I have the bigger size that is far better suited to Barney. A couple of stocking filler bits. I got some books. Now, if anyone's read the Colleen Hoover books, please tell me before I start reading. I have It Ends With Us and I have this one, which I think is separate. It's called Verity. It sounds really good, actually. A thriller that will keep you up all night and a twist that will leave you reeling. My favorite kind of book. That's a separate book altogether. But this one, It Ends With Us. There's also one called It Starts With Us. Which one am I meant to read first? Which one came out first? I think it's this one. But I have ordered It Starts With Us. So let me know in the comments if you've read it, which one I need to read first. Mum also got me a stock up of my favourite washing up gloves. I say mum because I know dad didn't have a part in this. Um, for my stocking, the Deluxe Moisturising Gloves from Lakeland. If you yet to try these, I think this is now my fourth pair. They're incredible. It's not that horrible, like, clammy feeling that you get with cheaper washing up gloves. It's moisturising, super soft on the inside, and they're white. So they look nice too. I also got this as a little stocking filler, Ray Dunn pen set, and they just say edit, create, and write. Just nice and simple, cream and black. And I've got some, I want to get some new stationery for the new year as well. I actually think I'm getting a new diary for my birthday. So I'll show you that when that arrives. I also got a gift card for Home Sense from my brother and his fiance. So thanks to them. I will be spending that because as you guys know, it's one of my favorite shops. I also got a winning scratch card. I think that was the only one that actually won. I think, yeah, I think on our table places, we got smaller ones. I think my mum won on that one, but otherwise I was the only winner of the day. And then we also got these as table gifts because we are going to Harry Potter world, which is actually a birthday present for me. So even though I'm mentioning it in what I got for Christmas, I know that we're going, we're going in January. It's just a mug that when you fill it up, I've got the Gryffindor one. I think Tom got Slytherin. <laughs> and I think, did Livy get Hufflepuff? And George got Ravenclaw. And then what else did I get? Oh, we got a bauble. Mum bought us a bauble each. And I don't know, it's just really pretty. It'll kind of go with my like antique bronze kind of theme that I tend to go for. Obviously we didn't have a tree this year, which is very sad. Well, I mean, I was at my parents for the whole of Christmas anyway, but that will be put to one side for next year. A couple of PR bits, but I think I'll show you first all the kind of treats that I got. So first things first, a couple of bottles of champagne. One was from my grandma and one was from our family friends. And they also got us this actually, as like a joint gift for me and Tom. A hamper from Hotel Chocolat, which is my favorite. Let me show you what's inside. Ooh. Oh, dream me. I've been saving this for this video, but now I've opened it and now I've show, shown it to you guys. I am going to be starting it today. So we've got a selection box with everything, flavours. In fact, did I also? Yeah, I also got one of those from my mum and dad, like in my stocking. Um, but that's really good for our velvetizer, milk chocolate brownie kit, velvetized chocolate cream, chocolate flavoured like alcohol liqueur, um, some chocolate macaroons. Now, I've always wanted to try these macaroons. So now that I've got them, happy about them. The Everything H box and then the Batons in 40% milk. Just a good generic hamper that I feel like you're gonna like everything in that. Although you do have to have a velvetizer to have that, I guess. It is called the Everything Lux box. So I guess, yeah, it has everything in there. Uh, what else? Oh, I got from Tom's mum. She knows my absolute favorite chocolate are Gillian. So she very kindly bought me this box of chocolates. And then again from my brother, some also some favorites of mine i have a lot of favorites when it comes to chocolate but reese's uh miniature peanut butter cups and these ones have got white ones in as well which i think would white be my preference of the two i think maybe and then i also got the obligatory chucky orange and i also got a lint bear this year we don't always get these so this is a treat and then what else did i get some pr bits 
when I came home I got home to these so from home sense they very kindly sent me one of these from the the collabed with the bottled baking company which I showed in my gift guide video I thought these are brilliant they do them for dogs as well so I've got one for Barney and they just uh, they, well this one's the extravagant gingerbread brownie mix but they do loads of different flavors and stuff and you've got all the ingredients in the bottle the little recipe and ingredients card. And then I also got from, this is a very well received, from Jo Loves. They also gave me a bauble actually, but I gave it to my mum because I felt like she bought us a bauble. I wanted to buy her one. And it was perfect for her tree as well. So I gave her that. But they also gave me, sent me this, um, a fragrance diffuser. So this is a Christmas edition, but that's the actual container, the pot for the like liquid and then you've got the thick three black reeds to go within that in the top and the scent that they have sent over to me is i've already had a little whiff of it incredible it's called snowflakes and how do i describe this let me open it and have another whiff okay so i'm setting the scene i'm basically in finland and it's snowy loads of fir trees it's kind of minty and eucalyptus it's really fresh oh it's just amazing that is a good fragrance for me i do really like winter fragrances i'm just drawn to them i actually think my least favorite are summery floral fragrances and then the autumn kind of pumpkin spice scents as much as i love autumn and getting autumn candles out and everything i'm really picky when it comes to the actual scent of the candle because if they're too sweet and sickly I'm not a fan whereas all the wintry ones with the whole spices or the warm or the fresh fur love anyway i also got sent these or this i should say from ghd i have been wanting to try this for the longest time and they were out of stock in the lead up to christmas and then i didn't actually know this was coming it just arrived through my mailbox and they sent it to me so thank you so much to ghd i actually got myself sorry i actually got my mum a set of GHDs for Christmas just because they are such a trusty fail safe go to option when it comes to hair styling tools that um yeah she's a fan just as much as I am but yeah I'm so excited to try this out this is called the rise volumizing hot brush so let me know if you would like me at some point to um try that out I need to get my hair done actually can you tell my roots need doing let me get that done before we go to London for the Harry Potter tour. Um, last but not least, in terms of PR gifting, Sienna X, which is a tanning brand, they sent me their Christmas cracker sets, which come with miniatures in of the self-tan concentrated drops, the gradual mousse, the skin finish mist, and lastly, the rose water untinted self-tan so thank you so much to all of the brands for sending me those thank you of course to all of my friends and family for absolutely spoiling me this year I'm looking around me with a huge pile thinking have I missed anything if I have then it's either been put away or I've just missed it in this pile but yeah thank you so so much to all my friends and family and thank you to each and every one of you for supporting me this year this is going to be my last year of last video of the year obviously and I will look forward to seeing you all on the first of january on sunday for a nice reset organized type vlog to kick things off for 2023 thank you so so much for watching have a lovely rest of your day and i will see you again next time bye guys